There was does that show that shows your determination mm -hmm. again when it's failures, but if you've already been pitching, it, it shows your determination as a opposed to if you did it the first time? A well, a absolutely. And I want to show this to you real quick though. A tree over time, um, the winds are going to push it this way, right? The winds are going to push it that way. Winds are going to push it this way, going to push it that way. Over time, the winds are pushing the tree, and so the trees that get to maturity begin to be very strong. I mean, oak trees are very, very strong, right? So is, uh, it's, it's the same thing with investors. These investors, they have seen so many pitches. <laughs> they have seen every scam, con, bad idea, good idea. They've seen every game, every, every where someone, you know, kind of fake, uh, fakes the numbers. They've seen where someone cooks the books. They've seen every trick, every scam, every, every you know, twist and turn, pitch, every little scheme, every little, you know what I'm saying? They've yeah. seen it all. And so they are a hardened tree. So very few people are like, yeah, great idea, Larry. Let me just give you a bunch of money. Unless they're just really weird, flimsy trees. This kind of, you know what I'm saying? You want to go for those big ones. So you've got to have that mentality, though, that you are literally, visually, I don't know if this is going to help you. I've done crazy stuff in my office. The guys know in my office, we have a, we have a, like a hatchet up there. You're like, why do you have a hatchet in your office? I mean, there's, there's, you know, sometimes you need these visuals. I'm just telling you, when I was starting my first business, I said, man, you need a hatchet. I remember when I decided that I was going to um, um, you know, grow, I had a DJ business and I was gonna then start this party rental business. I remember when I wanted to start that party rental business, I remember just, I had to like get to that white hot level of like, oh man, I've got a no from every banker in town, but now I know all the reasons why they say no. Oh, I'm going back. You see what I'm saying? But you have to have that sort of delirium. You've gotta be just one step from crazy. It's gotta be this unbelievable persistence or you're not gonna make it. It can't be this mentality that, you know, I'm just gonna take one swing of the ax and knock it down. You really do have to persist until you succeed. That quote from Ogmandino is fabulous. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. I mean, does it kind of, so oh, yeah. this week is an action item for you. I would encourage you, anybody watching, to write down how many rejections you can handle this week. Like how many rejections you wanna get every week to get there. And I would say for you, I would submit about three a week is what I would do, at least. I know that sounds crazy. And hey, nothing feels worse, by the way, than getting rejected. So as soon as I get rejected, I immediately go, okay, that was, that was, that was something, and I'm moving on. I, just, I don't spend a lot of time marinating on my rejections. I just try to plow right through it. Make sense? Yeah. All right, yeah. fourth point here, okay, the fourth mindset is you need to have pig-headed discipline. You need pig-headed discipline and daily metrics to sustain momentum. Can you read the quote there? The missing ingredient for nearly all of the 1,000 plus clients I have worked with directly to improve their business is, is pig-headed discipline and determination. We all get good ideas at seminars and from books, radio talk shows, and building business building gurus. The problem is that most companies do not know how to identify and adapt the best ideas to their businesses. Implementation, not ideas, is the key to real success. A lot there. Yeah. But pig-headed discipline. Pig-headed discipline, right? Now he talks about a lot of things, but the big thing he talks about is its implementation, not ideas, okay? So I know a ton of people, a ton of people. Uh, I'm gonna go with north of hundreds of people who've said, I wanna start a restaurant. But uh, there's one gentleman I met the other day from Iran who has two successful businesses. And he though sat down and made the checklist of all the ingredients. For this item, this goes in it. For this item, this goes in it. For this item, this goes in it. The decor, it's gonna look like this, 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 this. Here's how the music's gonna be. Here's how I'm gonna pay my staff. Here's my operations manual. Here's my systems. Here's my, making those systems requires a ton of work. I talked to the guy and I said, well, you know, how did you, how, did you, I mean, how long did it take you before you got from here to there? He says, well, I started off as a dishwasher. I mean, how many guys are willing to work as a dishwasher for three years 
to get in the business, to then work their way up to that management level, to then test their ideas, to then save up just enough money to start their own business. And if you, I mean, the kind of people who do that kind of thing have pig-headed discipline. 